How are you pitched the role of being a young Burt Kreischer? Who, how did that happen? <laughs> um, do you mean or do you mean to ask if I was offended by this? <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to spin it um that's a way to spin it yeah i think well they just i just was they they, they just said bert was a big he saw me in a show called the guest book he was a big fan yes wanted me to play him in the movie um i quickly became familiar with the story and uh you're one of the 52 million people who have vi watched the viral uh machine video? i am now yeah, yeah okay, I, sure. I, to be honest i hadn't at the time sure. heard of it okay um, and it was funny because I was just trying to kind of get away from doing like the frat party guy. Sure. And then I saw this one and I was like, this is a pretty good one to do, though. Um, it's just such an epic story. And um, yeah, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll let Bert have this. <laughs> <laughs> how does one uh, then, because you're a professional actor, um, mm -hmm. and how does one prepare for the role of Burt Kreischer? It was kind of easy just being with him, you know? You just hang with him on set the whole time. <laughs> He's there right next to you. So if there's anything you're unsure about, you're just like, okay, yeah, there the, we go. The source material is to your right. Yeah, and he uh -huh. was shirtless, I think, the majority, <laughs> the majority of the shoot. So you're looking at craft services. He's there without his shirt on. There without his shirt on. You okay. go to his house. He's there without his shirt on. You're... Going to hair and makeup, he's there without his shirt on. That's just that's just his vibe. Well, sometimes you go to his house, he has nothing on. That's true too. You know, that's true too. Okay, so you did you like ever turn to him and say, you know, did this really happen? Does that really happen, or you just yeah, you did your own interpretation of this? There thing? was also it was cool watch. Uh, it was cool like watching him watch the movie being shot, mm -hmm. and it was clearly like such an emotional thing for him yes where like there was one line that i said where i i said like i don't go to class much and he and he started crying and i was like what's up man are you okay <laughs> and then he was like no it's just crazy like i actually i actually said this and then now here we are and there's a big movie being made we're in serbia it's just surreal um and i was like that's pretty cool it's it's cool to you know hear a real quote that you said from 20 years ago in a movie now. Well, now you and Harrison Ford have something in common. You're in a Mark Hamill film as well. That, that I hadn't thought about it like look that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Wow. So um, what was it like being around him on the set? Mark Hamill? Yeah, man. I mean, it was it was cool. That was also a little surreal, you know, just another, another guy that's just such a legend, and then you're just kind of hanging in the same room with him, and all of a yeah. sudden it's casual every now and then. You just got to... Kind of remind yourself, like, oh, that's, oh shit, that's Luke Skywalker. Right? <laughs> Did you ever play it? Like, do you have to play it cool? You have to remind yourself you got to play this thing cool. Yeah, I, I think I played it pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just was. I just was. The way I played it cool was just not nice to him at all. You know. Oh, okay. You yeah. just put him on. You I went on, completely. You, you, you froze him out. You, know? yeah. you froze him out. Yeah, froze him out. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.